barriers to entry for startups are enormously lower than they were uh, a, a generation ago. Um, it means there can be much more competition. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's enormously different is when you do a consumer-facing uh, internet service, you get immediate feedback from people. You can tell what they're doing, what they're not doing, what they're clicking on, whether they like it, whether they don't like it, and it, it permits extraordinarily rapid evolution of your business model. You can tune your website, you can do very systematic A-B testing, and a number of companies have gotten really good at this. Uh, and as a result, um, you don't have to figure out as much in advance and get it right. What you have to do is, you're doing a business, find a good starting point and then get in a very tight iteration with uh, the community of use to evolve the product in ways that, that give you critical mass. And that was simply not, not possible without the Internet and all yeah. of everything that, uh, that comes with it. So in a way, it's a different uh, kind of game. But in a way, it isn't, there are fundamentals that haven't changed which is that you still have to have, I mean, forgive the buzzword, a value proposition. I mean, it is interesting that there are, for instance, Facebook apps that have demonstrated that within, you know, 15 minutes they can get 8 million users. Okay. But they're actually not very interesting as businesses because they're not offering anything so far in general that keeps those 8 million people there. Uh, and if you're going to build a business that ultimately has some value, uh, and has revenue or has value to somebody who already has revenue. Uh, I note today that Sun Microsystems bought uh, MySQL for a billion dollars. Um, you know, you have to solve somebody's problem. Somebody has to be in some pain or they have to have a problem, and you have to do something that is going to help them with that in a way that they can appreciate. And enough people have to have that problem to make it worthwhile to do a product, and ultimately there has to be some way to make money at it. So the, the 20 questions that you ask about a startup in 1983, say, are, are fundamentally the same set of questions that you ask. It's that the difference is that the means by which the answers are created are very, very different, better, faster, cheaper, uh, and so on.